any suspected offense must be informed why he or she is being arrested and has the right to remain silent. Where is the general taking that right that every Kenyan individual enjoys under the Constitution? And as a matter of fact, is also in the Magna Carta and is enshrined in the rules of natural justice. We as court will not sit back and watch the abrogation of rights enshrined in the Constitution or the trampling on the rights of citizens either as professional groupings like the press or any other individual for that matter. The minister went even further to make an even more frightening statement that there's a plot to overthrow the government of Kenya as lawfully established. The last time we heard such a statement was in the second regime in this country. And it was followed by frightening brutality visited and met on people in this country. This famous torture chambers of Nyayo House were a follower to hollow statements about an intent to overthrow the government. And weak regimes world over, <clears throat> when they see that they have reached the brink, they start pressing every panic button in sight to try and see invisible enemies, channel out propaganda, label people, and eventually start arresting people. And you remember how people used to be taken to court one at six in the evening after being tortured for a week. And all you are looking for is freedom and you go there and say, I'll say yes.